Hello students, I am Priyana Amos, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, SMIT Adol. The purpose of putting this video in this channel is to facilitate your home studies during this particular situation. Okay, now we want to discuss about the fourth module of, for the subject ground improvement techniques. The fourth module is regarding the inside ground reinforcement or ground inclusions. It is a type of ground modification technique. Now what is ground modification? Ground modification refers to the techniques that improves the engineering properties of soil like shear strength, permeability, stiffness etc. Then why this ground modification is essential? This ground modification is essential in order to avoid the swelling and shrinkage of soils, to improve the strength of the collapsible soils, to improve the properties of soft soils, to avoid liquefaction, to avoid the phenomena of soil sinking. And also in general, the ground modification is provided for improving the mechanical properties of soil. Now, what is ground inclusion? Ground inclusion means the inside ground reinforcement techniques. There are three main methods are used for the ground inclusion purposes. It includes ground anchoring, rock bolting and soil nailing. The three main methods which are used for inside ground reinforcement or ground inclusions are ground anchoring, rock bolting and soil nailing. Now what is ground anchors? Ground anchors are structural units which transmits the force into soil by means of tendons. It is also known as earth anchor or percussion driven earth anchor or mechanical anchor. It is a device which is designed to support structures in geotechnical as well as construction applications. So ground anchors are simple structures that is designed to support the geotechnical and construction. Now the applications of ground angers. A ground angers has a wide variety of applications. The ground angers are used in retaining walls as a part of erosion control systems. It is used for structural support of temporary buildings and structures such as circus tents and outdoor stages. It is used to tether the marine structures such as floating docks and pipelines. It is used in drainage systems for load locking and restraining capability. It is used for anchoring trains while doing landscaping. It is used in sporting activities such as slack lining or upsealing. Now rock angers. What is the difference between ground angers and rock angers? Actually ground angers are earth angers which is provided in soil itself. And rock angers is the anchoring technique provided for rocks. A rock anchor is a high strong steel st uh, tendon which is placed along with a stressing anchorage on one end whereas a means for transferring force to ground and rock on the other end. In case of rock anchoring, first of all a hole is drilled on the rock with a proper length and diameter and after which the rock anchor tendon is inserted into this particular hole and fixed to the rock. The main purpose of the rock anchoring is to stabilize the foundation of the construction and avoid its movement. So rock anchors are high strength steel tendons which are inserted into rocks for stabilizing the foundation construction and to avoid the movement of foundation. Types of rock anchors. Rock anchors are of two types. They are first one pre-stressed rock angles and second one passive rock angles. So the rock angles can be classified into two types such as pre-stressed rock angles and passive rock angles. Pre-stressed rock angles are the rock angles which are fixed by means of pre-stress. Now the materials required for rock anchoring. The following are the materials which are required for rock anchoring. First one, bearing plate, 
then rock angers as according to our choice drills and drilling bits a suitable grouting material restraining balls tendons anger hurts and balls so the materials which is required for rock anchoring include a bearing plate rock angers according to our choice drill and drilling bits a suitable grouting material restraining balls tendons anger hurts and balls now the procedure or steps for rock anchoring here I am explaining the step by step procedure for rock anchoring. In case of rock anchoring, the first step is to drill a hole in the particular rock. The hole is having enough diameter and length. The second step is to inject a grout into this hole. And the third step is to insert the threaded sheathed rock anchors. To these holes and after that a bearing place is installed into this hole and tends the anchor so the procedure for rock anchoring are first of all drill a hole with suitable diameter and length after that a suitable injection grout is provided through this hole and insert the threaded sheathed rock anchors into the hole and after that install the bearing plate and tends the anger. This is the picture showing ground anchoring. The first picture shows the rock anchoring and the second picture shows the uh, earth anchoring. Now the second method of ground inclusion that is rock bolts. A rock bolt is a long anchor bolt for stabilizing rock excavations which may be used in tunnels or rock cuts. It is able to transfer load from an unstable exterior to the confined interior of the rock mass. The rock balls were first used in mining in about 1890s. It intends to mobilize the inherent strength of a jointed and fragmented rock by active or passive confinement. That is, rock balls are long anchor balls which are provided for stabilizing the rock excavations either by active or passive confinement. These are the uh, uh, pictures showing rock ball. The second picture is the inside surface of a tunnel which is rock bolted. Now the principles of rock marks modification by bolting. We know that rock is a natural material which occurs in infinite varieties of forms in nature. The pro engineering properties of the rock may vary depend upon the area of its existence. While designing major tunnels, underground openings, excavations, foundation abutments and slopes in rock, the civil engineers are teamed up with the geologist for first possible understanding of the structure and quality of rock formation. The mechanical behavior of a rock mass differs because of its joints, fractures and other discontinuities inside it. Inside modification of rocks is mainly aimed at changing rock mass properties rather than rock substance. Rock bolting is involved in tunneling and in the construction of large underground openings. Functions of rock bolts Rock bolts possesses two basic functions. The first one is to pin or nail well-defined blocks or slabs of rocks to a more stable formation. The second one is to form a new structural entity cut off jointed rocks by applying compressive stresses. Types of rock balls. There are two types of rock balls. The first one is slot and wedge anchor. It forms well in hard rock as compared to that in unreliable pure quality rocks. And the second one is granted balls which are preferred for permanent reinforcement because they provide a better bond between the balls. Rock bolt action around an excavation. Rock balls create compressive stresses perpendicular to the free surface of excavation. This creates a zone of strengthened rock which may resemble a structural element such as an arch or a beam which stands up without additional steel or timber support. Rock balls must be applied as soon as possible after excavation. The rock must be restrained promptly because any loosening of the rock art 
more weight onto the support system. Now, we have to explain about the third method of ground inclusion that is soil nailing. What is soil nailing? Soil nailing is a technique used to reinforce and strengthen the ground adjacent to an excavation by installing closely spaced steel bars called nails. It is an effective and economical method of constructing retaining walls for excavation supports, especially for bridge abutments for highways. The nails are subjected to tension, compression, shear and bending. So soil nailing is one of the most effective and economic technique which is used to reinforce and strengthen the ground adjacent to an excavation by providing closely spaced steel bars called nails. The types of soil nails. There are four types of soil nails or the soil nails are categorized into four different types. First one is grouted nail. In case of grouted nail, as soon as after completing the excavation, the first holes are drilled in the walls or slope base and then nails are placed in the pre-drilled holes. Finally, the drill hole is then filled with cement ground. Second one, driven nail. In case of driven nails, the nails are inserted during the excavation and one of its advantage is it provides better corrosion protection. It can be used as a temporary nailing. The third type of soil nail is self-drilling soil nail. Here hollow bars are driven and grout is injected to the hollow bars simultaneously drilling. This method is faster than that of the grouted nailing and it shows more corrosion protection than that of the driven nail. And the fourth type of soil nail is jet grouted soil nail. Jet grouting is used to erode the ground and for creating the hole to install the steel bars. The grout provides corrosion protection for the nail. Next is the application of soil nailings. Soil nailings has some applications such as it is used to stabilize the rail and railroad and highway cut slopes. It is used to stabilize excavation retaining structures in urban areas. It is used to stabilize the construction and retreating of bridge abutments. It is used for stabilizing steep cuts. Here we can see with the soil nail rock. In this picture there is a wall which is soil nailed. And the advantages of soil nailing is it is one of the most flexible and easily modified ground inclusion method. In this case, grouting only is required, so there is a saving for time and labor cost. And this mother creates less noise and a small traffic obstruction only. It produces less impact on nearby properties and it is suitable for uphill widening. It can be used for strengthening of either natural slope or man-made slope and disadvantages of soil nailings. Some of the disadvantages of the soil nails including there is a chance for larger lateral soil strain during removal of lateral support in case of soil nailing and sometimes it may cause ground surface cracking during the removal of lateral surface. There is a tendency of high ground loss due to drilling technique and is less suitable for soil spawn to creeping and for coarse grained soils and soft clay soils which have short self support time and it is suitable for excavation above ground water.